The countdown is on. It's a mad rush to the mall, but what does your favorite female want? A new iPhone. Battery operated DVD player. An iTouch maybe? You know this is at the top of most people's list, but the latest from Apple is not the only thing women want. We asked Geek Girl founder Leslie Fishlock about some top tech toys this season. I think the big thing right now is tablets, tablets, tablets. The top tablets, the iPad mini, the Android Asus Transformer, Google Nexus 7, and the Amazon Kindle Fire HD. Add a couple of apps for some extra gift giving points. Dinner Spinner allows you to input what you have in the fridge and it comes up with a meal to make within seconds. You can also save and share recipes. Avoid a bad credit score this shopping season with the app called Mint.com. It tracks your spending, reminds you when bills are due, and warns you of low funds and potential fees. iBody turns your iPhone into your own personal trainer. It tracks your steps, jogs, runs, calories, cholesterol, blood pressure, and even allows you to team up with a buddy for motivation. Fitbit, and it's a great way for women to get into shape. And what it is is that it's an app that's on your iPhone or Android. is a scale that comes with it, and you can also purchase how the the uh, apparatus. So when you're, it can count how many footsteps you're taking. The Fitbit Ultra fits on your belt and tracks every step you take, every stair you climb, every chair you sit in. It even studies how often you toss and turn when you're sleeping. But high tech doesn't have to mean high cost. Gift your own high-tech skills with a voucher. Offer computer maintenance such as updates and scans. Customize windows by installing templates, screensavers, and wallpapers. Pass on what you know. Offer a two-hour one-on-one course on Photoshop or Excel. Teach someone how to blog or share photos online. Wrap it up in a gift coupon book you can download and customize for free at Kodak.com. Just a few options that may help you avoid this this holiday season. I'm Vanessa Welch reporting.